Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a darling little heart box that you can add chocolate or other little treats into. For my sample, I used scalloped and classic heart nest abilities, and it's the largest of each and the second largest of the classic dies. I used Melissa Francis, Fifth Avenue paper pad, the six by six, and um, the stamps are from Flourishes and the rhinestones, rhinestones from Want to Scrap. To begin with, you will need to cut different pieces. I uh, cut two large scalloped hearts and two of the smaller hearts out of coasters. You can also use thin cardstock, like from a card from. Uh, a cereal or a container or something. Those will be covered so it's okay if you don't use something pretty. You will need three large scalloped hearts out of cardstock, one large classic heart out of pattern paper and two small uh, pattern paper hearts. And now you just start adhering things together and I'm for the top, you'd uh, tear a cardstock heart over your cardboard or coaster heart. And to for the front and for the back, because when you open it up, you will see that. And if you don't want to see the cardboard or coaster, you want to cover it up. And then you also cover, add the large pattern paper heart on top of that. Then you take um, a coaster, coaster heart and you adhere it to the back of your heart from the top because you will use that to keep the heart box shut easier. And on top of that you add here another piece of pattern paper to decorate. It's a little bit hard for me to do it sideways so forgive me if it's not completely perfect. Um, then for the bottom you cover the bottom top with cardstock. And then you'd adhere, and I forgot to put adhesive on there, so I'm going to do it right, real quick. I ran most of my pieces through my Siron but I forgot one, so this one will be adhered with score tape. And then you adhere that into the center of your heart, bottom heart. This will help you guide the walls into a heart shape. Now that you have that, you will need to cut a strip. If you use 12 by 12 paper, you only need one strip. I only had six by six paper from this paper pack, so I have to adhere it together, and it will make. Um, it will make it a little bit harder for, to form the walls, but that's just how it goes. So if you have 12 by 12 paper, I would suggest you use that. So I just adhere that together to form one long strip and make that glue tab as little as possible just because when you form it into, into the wall, hard wall, it will be easier to mold. And then we'll have to the long side you can score it 
anywhere you like. I use the 3 8 of an inch. That works pretty well. This will be our glue tab. And now I add adhesive to the front and the back. It makes it the easiest, at least for me, to form the hard walls. And cut small, I would say about a quarter inch, because the there are so many tight curves in that heart shape that if you cut smaller pieces it will be easier to create the wall. The only bad thing is that you will have to take the adhesive off from all these little pieces. Now you fold about an eighth of an inch your first strip here that you cut with the adhesive over and add some more adhesive here. That will be where your walls meet. And then take all these pieces off. Once you're done taking all the pieces off, start folding your glue tabs inwards and take that fold over piece that you have and maybe cut this first piece off a little bit. First glue tab so it's not so much in the way. Um, fold this over and start on, and this is a little bit sticky and tricky, um, on the point of the heart and start forming your heart along the, e the wall, along the edge of that cardboard, smaller cardboard heart that you have adhered to the bottom of your heart base as a guide. Try to um, form it really on the outer edge or even a little bit further out because you, when you make the lid, if you have it inwards, it might, too far in, that lid might be too big. So you can see it's a little bit tricky to form, but it really helps if you have this second strip on the top and I will show you how to get rid of the sticky edges. We just add another layer, but right now this is the hardest part, is the, I don't know what to call it, in between the two hard pieces. Oh, it's nice, almost home stretch. When you come to the straight sides, you'll be Really excited like me. <laughs> okay, before you come to the home stretch, tech cut the last piece off too. So it'll be <clears throat> of the glue tabs. It'll be easier to uh, create the end of the wall. And then you have to see how far over it goes, so you might have to cut a little bit more. Okay, so this might be the trickiest part instead of the... 
but it's almost done. Just needs a little bit of patience. To put this glue tab in here so we can adhere the edges on. Press down and then take your adhesive off from that tab that you created and stick the wall on. Then you can either fold this over, but I want it to end at the tip, so I'm just going to trim that off. If it stands out a little bit, I love my little sanding block. You just sand that down a little bit. Okay, now that we have the bottom, we have this sticky stuff inside. That's why you have another piece of pattern paper that you have to adhere inside your heart. It'll make it prettier and again will help with getting the shape just right. Now I had showed you to adhere the smaller covered heart already to the court bay, uh, to the lid top. Well, don't do that. Take it back off. If you want hinges like I have here on this, you will, to hide them a little bit, adhere the uh, pieces of lace or ribbon down first. I'm using Mayart's crochet lace, I love that. And then let me add some more adhesive over my heart that I ripped off while I was peeling all those little tabs off. and adhere that over the edges of your crochet lace or ribbon to make them stay in place and hide them partially. Now cut this down a little bit more because you just need a little bit of hanging over your heart. Add some more adhesive. And then you place your lid on your heart and the first time it takes a little bit of forming and then press them down. Don't um, make them too tight. I'll show you what I mean as soon as I get the adhesive off. Okay. Come on. So we place it back on. And then leave some slack when you tape this on so that your lid will open easily all the way. Now if you want to hide this, you can just take some more of the lace and adhere it over the edge. And just decorate the top, see as I did here, and just decorate the top and your heart box is done. I hope you try it out. If you have those dies, it's a really fun, cute um, gift box idea. See you next time.